We're leaving our home, going to pick up the kids from their last day of preschool. Feeling all sorts of feels. Two thousand nineteen was a wild ride for us. We spent the first half of the year traveling to new countries, meeting new people, experiencing foreign foods, and occasionally learning a bit of a new language. It was full of thrills, excitement, and adventure, and also woven with challenges, sickness, and experiences that forced us all to dig deep. Halfway in, we learned that God wanted us to dig deeper still, and the last half has been as much or more of an adventure. When a cancer diagnosis rocked our world, we spent several months living with Grandma and Grandpa and then the last few months moving and adjusting back to life in our old home. We're realizing life feels a lot like a baseball game. Sometimes you're out in the field, and sometimes you're giving life your best swing at home plate. Sometimes you're striking out, sometimes you're hitting grounders and making steady progress lapping the bases one by one. Sometimes you're called out on fly balls, sometimes you even get hit by the pitch. Some innings fly by in a flash, while others seem to last an eternity. Every once in a while, you step up to the plate and produce one of those over-the-fence, out-of-the-park, crowd-goes-wild kind of hits. But most of the time, most of the time you're sitting on the bench cheering on your team. When an injury pulls you out of the game for a time, the bench feels devastatingly hard and your time spent attached to it feels agonizingly long. But you learn that the front row view is pretty great and there's good company all around. Plus the game is pretty fun to watch. You realize that it's not so bad to settle in and rest for a bit. Let your injuries heal. Slow way down and focus on the good around you. It just takes a reset in the brain. We traveled across continents and oceans, mountains and valleys, to huge cities and small villages, and we came back home better for it. We fell in love with the people we met and dearly missed the ones we left. We sought refuge from the rain with kangaroos, snorkeled with baby sharks, swam with jellyfish, accidentally fed toys to wild crocodiles, and escaped spiders, cockroaches, and scorpions. We came back determined to live simply, rooted in love, aware of the beauty around us, grateful to be a team, and even more grateful to be in the game. No matter the inning, no matter the score, no matter our position, our batting average, or time spent on the bench. When we left home one year ago, our goal was to get lost and find ourselves, and we are. One day at a time, God is cradling our hearts and molding our lives, shaping us into the players He knows we need to be. And we're grateful for it and for the Christmas season to celebrate the matchless love and transforming power of His Son. To our friends near and far, we send you our love. Thank you for your support and wish you Happy New Year. This year, make time to get lost. You never know what adventures will find you. So good.